here at the ID Tech X show with Paul Label from Adaptive City Mobility. Tell us quickly what your company does. Yes, uh, so we are developing a competitive and emission-free e-mobility system for cities which consist of an ultralight vehicle which we see here. Fantastic. Um, so you built this vehicle? We built a vehicle with 10 partners, also with a manual battery swapping system and an intelligent connectivity software which collect all real-time data of all entities. Right. So does it mean it collects data about how it drives and when it and you know issues in the car and it sends that to someone for diagnostics or what sort of data does it collect? Uh, so uh, it's a, a, a not a single vehicle, it's a e-fleet system. Right. That means uh, we will we'll search for operator in big cities and they buy a whole fleet. Okay. And uh, therefore they need the real-time data, where are the vehicles, where are the end users with their reservation app and where are the battery swapping systems and in this way you can uh, guarantee that you have no problems with charging time with limited range things like that right so it looks like here you've got the battery system which just slots out from underneath the car and a new one can be put in yes is that sir. correct so it's easily to clean and to open nice and then you easily can put it out like this Oh, and great. then we have a trolley, you click it in and drive the trolley in a bike right. garage which is connected to your solar panel. Right. There you produce your own renewable energy, right. store it, use it in the building or in, uh, in the vehicle. Right. And in that way you realize zero CO2. Right, yeah. that's great. And what are some of the other innovations that make this yeah. vehicle different from other yeah. electric vehicles? So th the vehicle weighs only 550 kilograms including battery weight. Right. Uh, we have a carbon fiber safety cell, right. uh, which protects uh, uh, the guests and weigh, which weighs only 40 kilograms. Okay. And around this safety cell, we adapt all the other parts, which makes the car light and safe. I noticed so, you've got some e-paper yep. displays on the back of the car. Why? Yeah, so we also have uh, advertisement uh, panels at the back of the car out of Eang technology because we want to be competitive as objective. That means we have to reduce costs wherever it's possible. So we make the car cheaper than other cars and we create new income sources uh, like a digital advertisement on a whole fleet. Right. Or we, as a system operator, we get commissions for the ride reservation, payment process, energy sales, digital advertisement and mobility services. So it's the, the income model is not anymore selling cars, producing right. cars, it's uh, uh, dealing with data. And so what, what is your progress in terms of getting this to market? What are your next steps yeah, yeah. to commercialize this vision? Yeah. So at the uh, moment we are now developed the prototype system of the vehicle, the energy system and the software as, mm. as well as the advertisement system. The next step is to do the industrialization, so do the serious development and uh, start uh, planning a production, yeah. Very nice. And do you also provide the software to manage the fleet of vehicles as exactly, well? Is that yeah. something you yeah. developed? Yep. So the space of the software is a software which already works for, for example, for BMW. Right. So it's a high-end software which we first develop. And we integrate new innovations like we call it multi-mode. Right. So you can use the vehicle as taxi in the car sharing as in the tourism or in the logistics. Right. And you just have to switch the mode uh, right. from taxi to logistic. Right. For example, tourists, you drive tourists around the lake during daytime. In the evening, there's no more tourists. Right. So we switch the mode and say you are uh, logistic now. You click out each single back seat and then a Euro right. fits in the back and you can do city delivery. Okay. And our objective is that the vehicle runs 24 seven, I see. 24 hours. Because you can swap out the batteries uh, very yes. easily, so no and charging. If, if we achieve that uh, vehicles are better utilized, right. uh, we can reduce traffic density, uh, density massively. How long did it take you to get to this stage of having yeah. a prototype or you know, yeah. now a real vehicle? Yeah. So I personally started the project five years ago right. to set up the project, find a partner, find the investment. And then the first year where, where we already were public funded, we do market research, concept work. Yeah. And since, since three years we 
developed the vehicle and the software and all the other technologies and the end three years right. yeah, for Fantastic. development. And what's your, the proudest thing that, about this vehicle that you're most proud of? What's the big uh, you know, thing you overcame um, that, that, yeah? Uh, so I was in, uh, inspired uh, 30 years ago when I did a world tour trip uh, in Bangkok. I drove the first time Tuk Tuk. Right. And that's real fun. Yeah. Right. So um, I always carry that idea with me. Small vehicles, three seaters for the inner city. That's the perfect solution. And then uh, started the electromobility time. And now I could realize this idea of a smart three-seater with a lot of uh, function. And that's why I'm very proud for that. And as we are reached that in a small team with top experts. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much. So, thank you too. Thanks, Paul.